<coughs> Hello YouTubers. This is Joe here of Joe and Paul. Paul's off to the side. You can't see him right now, but he's right here with me. Um, <clears throat> it's been kind of an interesting day. Oh, well, here we're I guess we're I guess we're I guess we're rearranging ourselves. Okay. <laughs> um, we just you know the the I'm going to put that have you put that down? We, we don't. Yeah. You know, that's why tempt fate, you know, with liquids on the table where the computers are. Um, we just had a very brief, substantial shower because we've been watching this stuff come in from Illinois here all all day. But uh, that's that's fine. It's you know, by the grace of God, doesn't look like there's going to be any violence, and that's good. So, all right, you know, enough of the weather nonsense. Um, uh, yesterday, around 7 o'clock or 7.30 in the evening, I went to the Wall Street Journal uh, website and, uh, you know, saw this thing about this Boston Marathon horribleness. Uh, so... Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? I mean, it's just terrible. It's awful. So it's one it, worse than every time. Yes, well, indeed. Now, you know, so, you know, we can get into the specifics of that perhaps later, but not not here today. Now, so, uh, I sometimes will comment in the Wall Street Journal comment pages or sections, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like a moth to the flame for me on some of these issues. Uh, I'm very much, uh, well, I'm in favor of all of the amendments in the Bill of Rights. I don't pick and choose among the amendments in the Bill of Rights. I, I think all of them are magnificent, including the third one about not building soldiers in your houses, you know, without your consent. Um, building soldiers? Well, 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 building. It's like, you know, when they they used, you know, European armies used to come in and make people take care of their soldiers in their houses. Okay, okay. Um, I don't yeah, uh, so that's okay. But I'm, I think that's a good one too. You know, very much like my favorite, the right to keep and bear arms, and also another favorite of mine. The right to say what's ever on your mind anywhere, anytime, as long as it doesn't provoke, you know, undue levels of disorder. Uh, particularly if you publish it in writing, which the Wall Street, which the Wall Street Journal is, when you comment, it is published in writing. So um, I said, and I, you know, I should know better than this, but you know, you just, sometimes you just got to <laughs> say this. So I, I said. We absolutely must have bomb control now. Register all bombers. Take pictures of all bombs. Don't let these bombs be sold without background checks. <laughs> Even between neighbors and friends. We must be safe. And then, oh boy, I really ought to know better, like a moth to the flame. Now, I think anybody with, you know, half a functioning brain or eight synapses knows that that was meant as a somewhat satirical, ironical remark about this whole gun control controversy that's been going on here. But no, apparently not, because the next fella says, in reply to me, you are a sick and disgusting human being. Because you're concerned about what happened. We are experiencing we Boston. are experiencing the Paranormal. worst terrorist attack since 9/11, and the best you can do is inject gun politics into this. Seriously, how about showing some sympathy for the people involved in this and for the families of those who lost their lives? Well, well, obviously, I I certainly hope I'm not a sick and disgusting human being. Uh, but clearly, this man sort of missed the point. Now, there there were about 20. Further exchanges. Well, I didn't. You know, I, you know, I only. I will read you my final remark on this. But there were then there were a number of people who were chiming in on this on either side of my my remark. 
Uh, so finally, after all of this stir moon drang, which, by the way, I didn't discover till this morning because my internet was pretty much slowed way down till 8 or 8.30 this morning. <clears throat> I hope that's going to not happen too more, much often more there insight. Anyway, so uh, I finally wrote kind of as a conclusion to this, and it seems to have been a conclusion to this. My heavens, who would ever have thought that the Wall Street Journal comment section is assumed to be an irony-free zone? Much like a phone call with my ex-wife with whom I'm still quite friendly, you know, by the way, I'm adding that in as by the way, I mean, but, but no, with whom, you know, with whom I'm still quite friendly was in the text. Obviously a tragic, evil, hateful act. The larger point is, and here's the larger point, guys, take away from all this nonsense, is using extreme events to determine knee-jerk reactive policies is not good policy making. Analogous to the adage, bad cases make bad law. So that's, that's that little interaction with the general public today for old Joe. Now, so I got thinking about this after, you know, having, you know, experienced firsthand the the hatred and vilification toward me, perhaps not, perhaps not the kind of hatred and vilification that requires somebody to go out and plant a ball bearing bomb in a crowd. That sounds like a shape charge to me, given the number of amputations they're talking about. But leaving that aside, so somebody will get him. Well, one hopes, yes. Um, so I got thinking, you know, I need to send something out to our prayer group, which I'm sort of the coordinator of. So I'm going to read you this prayer I sent them, and then we're going to sign off. <clears throat> Here with a Boston Marathon prayer. Boston Marathon Bombing Prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we implore you to comfort, mend, and heal those maimed, mutilated, and devastated in the Boston Marathon Bombing. We ask you to succor the families and friends of the dead we, trying to follow the example of your Son, ask that you send the grace of your Holy Spirit into the hearts and minds of those who did this, driving out and expunging the evil that, as Peter pointed out, walks among us as a roaring lion, seeking to devour us. We ask your help with our duty and imperative to forgive. All these things we ask in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Bye-bye, YouTubers.